Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ngozi if you're new here. Today I'm going to show you how to make black soup. Black soup is originally from Edo State. I lived in Edo State for a good number of years, so I really, really do love this soup. It is very easy to make, super delicious, and very medicinal. I have all the ingredients lined here already. I've gone ahead to prep some of them to save time, but I'm going to show them to you one after the other as well. So keep watching if you want to see how I make this. But before we start, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe so we can hit 100K. This 100K, you know, it's just delaying to come, just delaying to happen but please subscribe share my videos and click on your notification bell so you'll be among the first to know anytime i upload a new video so now let's start cooking so the first ingredient i'm showing you is the meat this is ram meat my friend gifted this to me during their festive period i've just saved it in the fridge since then this is what i'm going to be using another protein that is very delicious in black soup is goat's meat but today i'm going to be using this ram meat you see i'm going to cut them into pieces before using it so yeah next i have some snails i have cleaned this already with some lemon and then just left it in lemon water until i'm ready to use it I have mackerel fish, fresh mackerel fish. See, repeat after me. There is no Edo black soup without fresh mackerel fish. Well, except you don't like fresh mackerel fish, you can use smoked one. But the aroma of this fresh mackerel fish inside that soup is the cocoa. <laughs> Over here, I have some crayfish. I have picked it and blown it. You know how I blow it? I've done all that. So this is clean. I'm just going to wash it and blend. I have some seasoning cube. I like to use a combination of star and maggi crayfish. So I have it here. Let me take this out so you can see. Over here, I have some dawadawa and ogiri okbe. You can use either of these two to cook this soup. I get a lot of questions on what the difference is between this, this, and this. This one we call ogilisi in my place. This is what it looks like. This one has been fermented, you know, to get it to this level, but the other two was not fermented, but they're all made from castor seed, basically. There's also another type called iru. That one is in its fresher form. This one you use to cook your ora soup, ofo nubu, okra soup, and so on. For this soup, this one is a no. You use either of these two or the iru if you have it but for today this is the one i'm using i just brought this one to show you the difference so i'm using dawa dawa for this soup i also have some dry fish some onions if you want this soup to be delicious you need a lot of onions this one is not the one of oh you don't use onions to cook soup this soup loves onions so we're going to use lots of that for this soup I have some dried prawns here. I'm going to take out the head. You can blend it together with the crayfish if you want, but I'm not going to be doing that for this video. For this soup, you can either use palm oil or banga concentrate, which is a pulp from banga. I found this palm fruit pulp in the African store where I normally buy my things, and I was like, hmm, this is the first time I'm seeing this since I came here. So I grabbed this. This is what it looks like. It came frozen, but I left it overnight to thaw. This is what it looks like. You see? just the regular banga they just pounded it and froze it up so this is what i'm going to be using i'm going to wash it with warm water and then use the juice if you don't have this you can use this one i'm sure you find this in almost every african store some caribbean stores carry them nowadays so what you do is you just dissolve this in water let it settle before pouring it into the pot so yeah so finally, we have the most important ingredient for this soup, and it is the black soup leaf itself. So this is a combination of some leaves. I think it has um, a bwawe. There's a name they call it. It's a very wide leaf. I didn't know it though. When I posted this video on Facebook, some people came to the comment section because I asked. So some people came to the comment section to tell me the names they normally come fresh but because i live abroad i had someone dry the leaves for me and then blended it into this powdered form i'm going to list the name of the vegetables here in the maybe on the screen and in the description box way back in nigeria what i do is i just go to the market and say madam please blend me black soup ingredient they just select the leaves and grind it for me and then i go home and cook my soup I really didn't know the name and I did not bother to ask yeah so yeah this is it I'm going to leave the names of the veggies in here in the description box and an alternative that you can use if you cannot find this over here so we have everything now let's start cooking 
I like to add this so that the board can stay instead of moving around. So to begin, I'm going to cut the meat. Take out some of the fat. I'm not going to use everything because I have a lot of snail over there too, so. I'll save some for suya. Once I'm done, I'm going to wash the meat. Add some salt and water. And then just wash. I like to go in with my hands and remove any fat around the meat just like this. See how delicious this piece of meat is looking. Mm. Sometimes I like to leave some fat in it as well, you know, for some extras. So I'll add the meat to the pot now. Here I have um, some onions that I blended up. I'm going to add that. I'll add some seasoning cubes. So I'll stir this now, cover and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll keep an eye on it though and top up with water if I need to. So next I'm going to slice the remaining onions. I used two onions for this. I used one to cook the meat. I'm going to blend this with the crayfish, pepper and here. dawa dawa. I'll wash the crayfish. So I'll add some water. I like to let it sit for about a minute so that all the dirt will settle at the bottom. Then I go, I go ahead and scoop the top just like this. And then I leave whatever is at the bottom there. I'll add some pepper as well. I didn't show you at the beginning but of course you're going to add pepper. This one is too big so I'm going to reduce it. I'll use that much. And then I'll add the dawa dawa. So I'm going to go ahead now and blend this. Next, I'm going to soak the fish with salt and hot water for about 5 minutes so it can soften up. So while that is softening up, I'm going to wash the banga. This is really nice. This is the first time I'm seeing this in the African store where I buy my things. I am excited about it. So like I said, I'm going to use hot water. Not very hot water. Use as much as your hands can tolerate so that you don't burn yourself. This is good. I can tolerate this. So... They took the seed out already so all we have is just the pulp i really love this and i love that we're now finding a lot of african ingredients to buy abroad it means we're making progress and i am loving it <laughs> so i'm going to sieve it here look at that you don't want to add that So these have been cooking for almost 30 minutes now. Let me see. The meat is still a little bit hard at this point, but it's okay. It will cook through in the soup. So at this point, I'm going to now add the snails. Next, I'll add the banga juice. Perfect. 
perfect. So what I'll do is I'll let it boil before I add any other thing. Meanwhile, I'm going to go back and clean the fish. I just added a little bit of cold water so it does not burn my hands. You guys, this fish was so sweet. I almost finished it. I'm going to go back and ask them for the name. I love it. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and clear the sink so I can have space. Once I finished doing that, I started misbehaving. You know, I was looking for, what's it called? Um, I was looking for thumbnail. So I was changing my style, doing another style. My daughter came there and joined the parade. <laughs> So once it boils, normally I'm supposed to wait for all this foam to vanish, but I don't have plenty of patience. So I'm going to add the blended pepper, dawa dawa, crayfish and onions. Everything going there. Add the fish. Let's add the dry prawn. This is the fish that made it. I'm going to add it now. Then I'm going to add a dry vegetable as well. You don't need a lot of this. This is enough to cook this soup, but I just like to... One spoon like this, I mean, is enough to cook this soup. I just like to take it further by adding half more. So, once I add that, give it a gentle mix. taste for seasoning or salt I knew I was going to need salt and seasoning because the only one I added was that one I used to cook the meat so I'm going to add one Maggi crayfish I'll add some salt as well just a little bit stir that in and then taste to make sure it's okay once it is okay just let it simmer on medium heat until you see oil start floating to the top. That's how you know it is ready. Perfect. So I'm going to let it simmer now. And I'll check back when oil floats to the top. So on this other burner, I'm going to heat up some water to make semo. Because I'm going to be enjoying this with semo. This soup and semo or pounded yam is... At this point, our soup is ready. It's been 15 minutes. So you can see all the oil has left floating to the top. This is how you know that the soup is ready. The aroma is out of this world. So good. Perfect. So I'm going to take it off the heat now and make my semo. <laughs> This soup goes best with pounded yam or semo. I don't feel it that much when I eat it with eba. Mm -mm. I prefer it with pounded yam or semo or even apu. Yes, it goes so well with apu too. I have a detailed video on how to make semo. I'll link it in the description box. Just in case you don't know how to make semo. Even if you do, you know semo can fall hand sometimes. So check the description box on how to make lump free semo. Okay? Mommy, can I take that eba once you're done with that? Everything is ready, nothing is left than to serve and enjoy. You guys, like I said, this soup is not complete without fresh mackerel fish. Except you don't like fresh mackerel fish, you can use smoked one, it's okay. But the taste and the aroma it adds to that soup is pure heaven. So now, this is how to eat it. You have to cut the semo, cut some fish and then add the fish together with the soup and then swallow it this is how to eat it lesson 101 okay so once you finish eating you wash your hand and then you go to sleep yes this soup is delicious my kids could not wait to enjoy it truth is i've served them this soup before i've made this soup before in the house they love it they practically ask for it all the time mommy when are you going to make black soup oh i love black soup when are you going to make black soup so it's something i make all the time in the house you can see they cleared their plates they even ask for more you guys i love that they love this soup and it is very medicinal anytime i give it to them they just go to the loo and every yamayama is flushed out of their system i love it and i love that they love it like i said 
so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video let me know in the comments have you tasted black soup before is it something that you want to try i remember the first time i saw this soup seeing it black alone put me off i was like no i'm not eating this then one day i just closed my eyes and tasted this soup and bam that was it so yeah let me know if it's something you would want to try and if you're from a dose date please come and make noise about this soup in the comments because this soup is amazing thank you all so much for watching let me know if you try this out send me pictures on instagram at the joyful cook see you in my next one thank you so much for watching bye